So in a Gary Johnson world, basically, we don't have a state. We have a company, right? I, I mean, our country becomes basically, or our, our lives are, are circumscribed by, defended by, protected by, um, improved by, not government, not something that we, the people, have control over, but private for-profit industry and the billionaires who own private for-profit industry. That's Gary John that's the libertarian vision. This is Gary Johnson's vision. And this is pretty much, you know, the direction that we've been going ever since the Reagan administration. You know, last week I went off on this long rant about how, you know, 1.3 million Americans get salmonella every year. It kills people. 3,000 Americans die of food poisoning every year. I mean, we have a 9-11 every year just in food poisoning. And in Europe, all across Europe, the eggs are not stuck in the refrigerators. The eggs are just sitting next to the baked beans. Now, why is it that European eggs you can eat? You can even eat them raw. I mean, you can eat them, but, you know, they're, they're and, and, and Europe has pretty much eliminated listeria, or excuse me, salmonella which is the principal form of food poisoning that is transmitted by eggs, Europe has eliminated it. And we've got over a million cases a year. Why? Because in Europe, the chicken producers or the egg producers give a vaccine, an anti-salmonella vaccine to their hens. Now, I'm not talking about massive doses of antibiotics like we do here in the United States, uh, which actually makes things worse. I'm talking about a vaccine one shot, not real expensive, but American egg producers, hey, it might cost an extra penny per egg. We're not going to do that. That would cut into our profits. It would reduce our dividends. The CEO couldn't take as big a paycheck. I mean, America has, has been moving ever since, ever since the 1980s steadily in the direction of no longer being a nation state, but rather being a corporate state a corporate managed state down in Florida, for example. I mean, this is, this is particularly bizarre down in Florida. The, uh, Oh, where did I, where did I put that? Here it is down in Florida. There is a uh, ballot initiative, initiative one on the Florida ballot that will amend the constitution of the state of Florida to make it against the law for you to sell electricity that you generate on the roof of your house, for you to sell it to a power company, for you to sell it to your next door neighbor, for you to sell it to anybody, which kills the leasing industry, right? The, the biggest way that solar is growing in states like California, Arizona, Nevada, whatnot, the biggest way that solar is growing is there are companies like Solar City that come to you and they say, we will put solar panels on your house we will lease them to you. The solar panels will generate enough electricity that they pay for the, the lease. So you basically get free electricity and, you know, and we own the solar panels. So at the end of a certain number of years, we can take them back and you can buy new ones and we can upgrade them as new technology comes along. This Florida law would make that illegal. It would kill the solar leasing industry. What is the name of this bill? The Rights of Electricity Consumers Regarding Solar Energy Choice. That's the title of the, of, the, uh, of the Constitutional Amendment. And so Floridians think, hey, this means that I have a choice. I can choose solar power or not. And 66% of Florida voters say they will vote yes, yes on this. Not realizing that it's a scam that was put on the ballot by the fossil fuel industry. The, you know, one of those industries that Gary Johnson wants to deregulate. He wants to do away with environmental regulations, kill the EPA. Well, yeah, big polluters like Coke Industries would love that. Power companies, massive polluters like the big power companies would love that. But how does it help you? Oh, it doesn't. That's right. In pretty much every dimension of our lives, whether it's our food supply whether it's our housing, where the housing prices are exploding right now, you know, because of speculation in the housing market. Whether it's in, in your job and whether or not you can even join a union. 
whether it's in the pharmaceuticals that you're buying or the eyeglasses that you're buying. When I, when I lived in Vermont, people used to drive up to Montreal to get glasses because you can get a good pair of glasses with new lenses and rims and everything for, you know, under a hundred bucks in Canada. Here, try four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And it's basically, you know, one company controls the vast majority of the eyeglass, you know, uh, uh, business or the lens business. Anyway. It's like pick your, you know, in, in pretty much every dimension of our lives, somebody, some private corporation that Gary Johnson loves and worships has figured out a way to screw us. It's like our country since Reagan has become a giant machine designed to extract wealth from the middle class, throw it up to the top 1%. And just and and pay off the politicians. You're to listening keep it going. to the Tom Hartman program. Call